So here at the Mobile World Congress, and who are you? Stephen Turnbull, I'm the marketing manager for Freescale for Wireless Products in the Digital Networking Group. So you announced a new product here. What is this? Uh, yes, this is our new uh, metro base station system on a chip, SOC. It's a very high performance, highly integrated, uh, low power device uh, for metro, metro base stations. So it does LTE? It does LTE. It's focused on LTE. We have dual mode solutions today. This is an LTE focused machine. It has uh, hardware acceleration to LTE advanced features, release 10 and 11. As well as the hardware, we'll also be providing a full commercial software solution for this device. So, is that what, what's there? Is that the? Uh, this is actually a, a previous device, the, the 9132, and we're streaming LTE uh, cabled uh, here because uh, you're not allowed to transmit in the show. Uh, and we're streaming LTE from the base station here to the uh, to the dongle uh, here. All right, so can you explain some more about how uh, the SOC, what is, what is inside? What's, uh, absolutely. What's it so it's a very high performance device. It does two cells, so it does 20 plus 20. Uh, because it supports release 10, we can do carrier aggregation. So we can support a 40 megahertz uh, aggregated carrier. Uh, we have MIMO support, so we can we offload a uh, channel equalization, and we can do up to four by four MIMO. Um, as well as this, we have a lot of integration on the device. We have integrated digital front end to help improve the efficiency of your RF power ramp lineups, and that saves you power and cost. Uh, we have a very high performance backhaul. Uh, we have PCI Express to attach Wi Fi for Wi Fi offload, and the backhaul can do LTE and Wi Fi simultaneously. We also have a SATA interface for local content caching, so you can attach locally solid state storage for caching. Uh, data which uh, users might be downloading. And this, this machine will support up to 256 simultaneous calls, simultaneous users, very low power, low cost uh, SOC. So what, what, does, what are the architectures inside? Yes, so there's two halves to the chip if you like. Layer one is done in our very high performance Starcore DSP, the SC3900, and that's 2X, the nearest competitive core. And we also have our very high performance E6500 a power PC processor, which is a dual threaded processor, and it provides the highest performance per watt of any core in the market. So, how big are the base stations going to be with this? Is it the giant ones, medium ones, or? Very small. So, macro cells will provide coverage for LTE. What the metro cell will do will provide infill underneath the macro cell network to help provide us all capacity so we can get that high bandwidth in our phones. So multiple smaller cells within the macro cell network. So a heterogeneous network and metro cells is where we see the operators going next in order to deploy that capacity to give us good quality of service. Sometimes when I walk around Barcelona here, uh, you know the high buildings and the reception doesn't really work, they need to install more of these. Exactly, exactly, and that's the point. In busy downtown areas, lots of small cells on tops of buildings, on side of buildings, on lamp posts. New deployment models for operators, which gives some practical uh, issues, but provides much better coverage for us as users. How big is the base station, this one? How well, with this device, the point is we can take multiple chips and collapse it into one, and it's very low power, so it should make for a very small, low power, low cost base station. Uh, we think something like a large shoebox. Large shoebox, so it's smaller, like this size, the size of this, this, like something, this? Something similar to that, maybe a little bit bigger, depends what the uh, operator puts in the box. And the board is not that big normally, or? Uh, this is a development board, so it can okay. be optimized dramatically from this, it can be much smaller than this, the board, half that size. And how soon? Uh, well, we have development vehicles now, we have our first generation silicon available now. Uh, the, the final version of this silicon, the highly integrated device, is about 12 months away.